This is Alula, a 7,000-year-old gem nestled deep within the Saudi Arabian desert. A place famous for culture, art and ancient history. But more than that, it's an adventurous playground with adrenaline, exploration and enjoyment at almost every turn. There's even an annual dance music festival and not that I'll be trying this, but there's a series of races right up to 100 kilometers long. I can't wait to get out there and capture it all. For the last 10 years, Saudi Arabia has been implementing something called Vision 2030. And this place, Al Ola, is a huge piece of that puzzle. It's got breathtaking mountains, heaps of history, and I've been told it's the perfect place to venture out into the wild and get your adrenaline pumping. Already making friends, that's how good I am at this. Welcome to Saudi Arabia. Ujman Thank you. Ula. I'm Mickey. Bada. Nice to meet you, Bada. The Saudis work fast. In just a few years, they've already attracted millions of tourists to their mega projects and global events, with Alula playing a big part, and that's going to grow. Everywhere I look, there's an incredible photo opportunity. The old town has kept its authentic beauty, which offers some delicious restaurants, one-of-a-kind handmade products, Good. or just a relaxing place to be in the evening. Right, time to check into my hotel room for the night, if I can find my way through the labyrinth of back streets. This is amazing, look at this place. Buildings like these were all tightly packed next to each other to act like a kind of fortification. The whole town is built like this and back in the day when the gates of the town were closed in the evening, the town huddled within itself, closed off. And you can really feel that history walking around this tight network of channels. I think it might be this way, I'm gonna try this way. <laughs> and now, Hundreds of years later, I get to stay right in the heart of it. Very good to have you here. Please come in. This is so cool. So I'm in my hotel room. It's all naturally lit. And honestly, I've never stayed in a place like this before. I think we should look around. But for that, I'm going to need a complimentary flashlight. So this is the main room. Look at this sofa, it's so big. Look how ornate it is. Woo! I found the only unnatural light in the whole room. And look at this shower. And this is a nice touch. Ooh, it's a long day, so I'm going to bed. Good morning. Uh, found myself in the heart of the desert this morning and uh, going to be doing something pretty insane. Not too sure how I feel about it right now, but we're going to find out. Let's go. How high is the swing? It's 84 meters. 84 meters. This is the Adventure Hub. They host all kinds of crazy activities and I have chosen the biggest and baddest one. Here we go. Up there, yeah. Look at that, that is breathtaking. As I got to the edge, I was so nervous. I could actually feel my Ooh. legs starting to shake. Okay. Suspended in the air, a quick release will send you swinging through the canyon walls in a 70 meter arc. As they started to count me down, I could feel my heart rate getting faster and faster and faster. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, here we go, let's go, oh my goodness, oh wow, woo, woo hoo hoo, yeah, boy, oh wow, woo, ha ha ha, oh, oh, that will wake you up. In the morning! Oh, that is how you start a day in Al Ola. Now, uh, I hate to say that I've got to leave, 
this incredible spot. But I've got so much more to do today. So let's get going. After all that adrenaline, I thought I'd head to the oasis where I could relax a bit. As I walked through the fields of luscious green grass with the date palms towering above me and the sun peeking through the leaves, I felt a real sense of relaxation wash over me. And going from that moment plummeting into the canyon this morning to this feeling of complete peace and serenity, I just thought, wow, this is what Alula is really all about. trying to find out where to eat right now and there are so many options. I'm absolutely spoiled for choice. It's so hard to choose where to eat. I've walked past places that do traditional Saudi food, Lebanese, pizza, even a whole square filled with food trucks. What is this place? This place looks good, like chic Parisian cafe restaurant. I wasn't expecting to find fine French food in the middle of the desert, but here we are. As amazing as that was, I've got no time to waste. Tomorrow is a huge day, so it's time for bed. So I've rented this epic 4x4 today. I'm taking it out into the middle of the desert. I've been given directions to a super popular spot for photographers. Driving on sand is definitely new to me, but getting the hang of it is too much fun. I think I'm going to go take some photos. Al Ola is Saudi Arabia's first UNESCO World Heritage Site, precisely because of these rock formations and canyons, but also because these deserts hold the legacy of 7,000 years of human existence. People have been trekking through here for centuries. Saudi Arabia's nomadic people, the Bedouins, created safe passageways through here, such as the Silk Roads and Incense Trails. These sands have shifted under the feet of millions. What I love is this scene, just as it is, would have looked the exact same 10,000 years ago as it does today. Today has been so epic and tonight I'm going to be camping under the stars deep in the desert. I've got to get going though because it's getting dark. This is nuts. Oh yes, it's here. <laughs> well, this is where I'm staying tonight. This is amazing. <laughs> ah, it's been an amazing day and I'm absolutely shattered, so see you tomorrow.
Today we're diving into Saudi Arabian coffee culture. Coffee's a big deal here, it's no joke. It looks like I'm here. It's a staple at every gathering, from weddings to family get-togethers. They even have this cute little Arabic coffee maker called a Dala. Which is what they serve coffee in here. Ooh. You'll see people sipping it from these tiny cups. It's a whole experience. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for the coffee. Bye. But here's the cool part. Speciality coffee is making its mark too. Yeah, we got local cafes popping up everywhere, bringing that Western coffee culture vibe. And trust me, they're totally worth checking out. Ooh. Yes, one cappuccino, please. Well, I feel like I've soaked up everything that Alula has to offer in terms of coffee, and now I'm ready for some more adventures. The time has come. It's my last day in Alula. I feel like I've seen it from every angle, except one. The other day when I was rolling through these mountains in that Jeep, I thought I was getting a sense of how big these wadis were, but this is something else. Just looking at Elephant Rock right now, you can actually see the shape of the elephant in the shadow. No human hands had a role to play in carving that elephant. That is purely nature built. Archaeologists believe that many thousands of years ago, Alula was under the water. Some say massive rivers, some say the ocean, and they have actually found marine skeletons at the tops of some of these mountains. Seeing this landscape from up here is unlike anything I've seen before. That was so cool. Thank you, Lindsay. Oh, that was definitely the highlight of the whole trip. When I came here, I honestly didn't know what to expect. But at every turn, wow. I've just been blown away. <gasps> this is nuts. Woo! This is amazing. Al Erla is moving into the future, building and expanding culturally and physically. But it's refreshing to find that it hasn't forgotten its past. That rich culture is still here. The history is so important and present. The soul of the place is still intact. What a three days it's been. Oh, oh, oh.